Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today as a daughter of immigrants to, and to urge my colleagues to please vote no on a yet more dehumanizing bill. It dehumanizes, it dehumanizes our immigrant neighbors in H.R. 2, uh, which is known better as Child Deportation Act, again is fueled with hateful rhetoric that I think is very dangerous for our country. I'm honestly not sure if the goal with this bill is to worsen our broken immigration system or just to simply keep as many black and brown immigrants out of our country as they can. I know bringing back family and child deportation is immoral. Prohibiting funds to organizations, providing life-saving humanitarian aid to migrants is simply cruel. This bill, this bill dehumanizes and is incredibly painful to see, again, our colleagues pushing forward. Many have called it racist and inhumane, that it's fear-mongering, that it's failed policies that will continue to worsen, again, our broken immigration system. We must, we must in this chamber protect all of our neighbors. We also must work towards protecting, again, those that are fleeing horrific violence. We need to continue to be leaders in creating a safe haven, again, for those that seek asylum. We cannot and should not embrace hate rhetoric and policies that only seek to pit communities against each other, tear families apart, and put our immigrants, immigrant neighbors in harm's way here in the United States, Madam Speaker, and also those from other countries. No human being is illegal. I believe that in my heart. I will continue to fight to make sure that we pass some sort of form of comprehensive immigration reform that gives our immigrant neighbors the dignified pathway, legal pathway to citizenship they deserve. I look forward to voting against this horrible racist bill and again urge my colleagues to vote now.